Hey guys! Welcome back to From the Depths! And I got something to show you guys. I'm. Oh yeah, we didn't record yesterday. I thought today was a Donkey Kong day. I got mixed up, we didn't record yesterday. I got something to show you guys, which, um, oh yeah, um, one thing I'm gonna let you guys know, if things little, seem a little bit faster, I'm using my new mouse, which is literally the exact same type of mouse that I've been using the whole entire time, it's literally the exact same model, this one is just a new one that I literally just opened, like about five minutes ago, so. But yeah, um, I've been a bit busy today. I want to show you guys what I mean. Now, there's this project that you guys know about that I've been talking about on, off and on. And it's this. It's the Sky Hailer Fortress. Now... W one thing Okay, I'm gonna show you guys this Now what I'm about to say is something that I thought that I Wouldn't be able to see for a while And you guys are be wondering what the hell could that possibly be? It's finished. Yeah, you guys just heard me correctly. The Sky Halo Fortress is complete. And holy crap, that thing just instantaneously started going up in the air when I accidentally spawned it too low. I did not know it could do that. Degraded mobile has. <laughs> oh yeah, now you cut out the fire, you jerk. Yeah, let me show you guys this. This is this is this uh, this went under about two or three different revisions. No, th yeah, this went under a couple of different revisions because there was the version that you guys seen that looked like a bit like a diamond, and then I went under the revision of having like the bottom ends pointed. But I have like the top and bottom sections just like uh, sliced off. This is the end result. Um, wait a minute, what is the price on this thing? Uh, so it's finished at 432,304 resources. Let me show you guys the first room here. Oh, yeah, this wall here. I got the beams laid down like this. I pointed, uh, pointing straight at us. But it's, it's um. So it's basically uh, it, there's two beams. So it's essentially uh, two layers thick right there, four meter beams. So essentially, it's eight layers thick. I might change. I might change these two vertical beams though. There's the doors that lead to outside. And yeah, the paint job actually went under a couple of different revisions too, which I'm actually quite happy with. Wait, well, let's go in yeah. here. The uh, this is the um, this is one battery section. Do you have? Yeah, you got an electric engine on you. Here's the rest of the. <laughs> this thing got so many batteries in it, it's ridiculous. But yeah, here's the uh, absolutely gigantic uh, steam engine. And you should be at... Yep, you're at 50%. So this burns 28.4 material every second. Which creates 20,400 steam volume per uh, boiler. And there's two. And so, God, I really wish there was was an integrator mode. Now here's the back. Now let me tell you guys something a little bit funny. This is this was the exact same case as it was. Oh yeah, I'll explain those uh, those vertical sections here in a second. 
But yeah, uh, this was actually the same case as it was with the early version, with the uh, that had the uh, pods up on top and on the bottom. As you guys see here, this side thrusters, uh, one here and the other one over there on the far left. Those are literally the exact the thrusters that's off the Hellfire cruiser. I'm not even kidding. I literally copied the main rear thruster off of the the Hellfire cruiser and I stuck it on to this. Oh yeah, let me show you guys the bottom. Oh yeah, I don't explain this big the all this um, the uh, color scheme here in a second. But yeah, there's all the thrusters. <laughs> God, this thing has a lot of thrusters. Oh, 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 I can't show you guys the foot yet. <laughs> I gotta leave you guys a little bit of sus suspense. But yeah. As you guys see here, like, this section here was originally green, but now I gotta change it to red, which runs down along here. It's all the way to the back. In here, I got painted it as well with the blue, the black, and the yellow. I need to fix that. Are you black as well? Why are you black? I forgot a piece. Okay, so there's a little bit of work I still have left to do. But it's minor. Seriously, why the hell are you all black? Oh. That's why. Why the hell are you blue? Why the hell? Ugh. Okay, let's move on over here. But yeah, I had the weirdest time building this. Uh, let's see, I'm um, finishing this up and oh, you guys have been going like, what the hell do I mean by that? Well, here's the first floor, which I, which is literally completely empty. Where's the... Oh, here's the main dome section here in the front. Uh... Where the hell? Where am I? I can't find myself with this gigantic thing. Oh, wait, there's the repair bots. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, there's a there's a missile pod over here. Where the hell am I? I literally cannot find myself. Like what? Yeah, screw it. Eh, it's me. Oh yeah, and this controller, this fire control computer, the only purpose that this serves or that I'm going to be using this for. Oh yeah, as you guys see, it got 292 missiles. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm fixing to do some damage. But yeah, the only thing, uh, the only reason why this is here is anytime this happens to go into the water, like like it's have to happen with the um, Hellfire Cruiser. This is just to be a uh, stand-in, so I don't have to. Uh, well, I literally cannot reach the controllers because the controllers, as you guys seen, uh, there's one, where's one controller? One controller, one controller is right here, and the other one is over here, so I won't be, I cannot reach these four controllers. So, for emergency situations only, I'll use that computer. And you guys have been wondering, what the hell is up with this paint scheme? Well, this is honest, well, as you guys know, this has actually been a little bit of a mainstay with our fleets. I'll explain. Uh, with the missile copter, as you guys see here, it got the, um, let me actually load this little guy in. Uh, uh, missile copter, where are you? As you guys see here, it got the the gold, like the the gold, the uh, gold sides with the uh, blue fu fuselage. 
with the bit of, uh, and a bit of black with the uh, red trim there on the blades with the uh, missile cruise are here we are same case same case with this one the hellfire where are the uh, big <laughs> lummox here we go yes I just said lummox go figure ah uh, you, you're gonna hit the you're gonna hit your own brother good job but yeah, as you guys see here, this is where the um, the red actually gets transferred from the blades and moved on to the missile pods. And this is where the black uh, round of thrusters becomes more apparent. That's the exact same case here. And I'm actually going to... Ah! That's the vehicle I'm showing off, I don't want to scrap that. My game. I... I'll probably actually do a uh, group shot here of all of them. Once I actually catch it, that's a freaking thing. But yeah, it's basically just... Just a... Um, a progress... A natural progression of the paint job. But yeah, this black section here was actually on the original version of this. But... With the revisions, uh, these thrusters are the same thrusters. Like they, they haven't been changed. Right? They, they're still the same ones. So I'll put in the same spots. But yeah, um, with this black here, I w well, when I was doing the paint job, I was like, what can't my, what can I do with this to make it look really interesting? So I decided to basically do this yellow here, have this bottom section here with a red stripe. Uh, or we'll basically divide the uh, two uh, the uh, missile pods that's on this you're being scrapped how fires <laughs> zip it <laughs> so yeah I decided to uh, take the uh, m missile pods here and divide them up in the four sections with the yellow with a black stripe going along the middle and this big black stripe here, that's, um, well, that's to continue with this here. This, uh, this, uh, area here with the nine thrusters. So I decided to continue with that. Wrap it all the way around. And this here, this whole entire back section is black. To go with the whole, like, black thruster theme. And you can still be wondering, why are the thrusters and the back sections all black? Well, it's to give the effect of, like, this is the thrusters, like, um... Uh, basically, this is, uh... uh with the inner side's been burnt, uh, basically, the thrusters have been used. And this is, and that's the same reason why that the, uh, these thrusters themselves are black. And, actually, this is why, like, all of these are black from the uh, basically from the exhaust from the uh, thrusters and plus it actually gives a little bit more definition and now on to the front now I'm going to show you guys just where the 292 missiles comes into play watch how about that Every single little green dot you guys see is a missile. <laughs> Let's get a good look at these things. So, yeah. So there's a hundred... A hundred and eighty-six... Missiles on... A hundred and eighty-six? Yeah, 186 missiles. No, wait, not 186. Uh, 140. Wait a minute. I'm seriously trying to. Wait, 292. Yes. My, I'm seriously trying to do math right now in my head, and then my brain is starting to hurt. Uh, so wait a minute. One. 
That does not make any sense. How the hell can I get 292 from this? Wait a minute. I'm but I'm being a total freaking idiot right now. That can't be right. It cannot be right. So wait, half a three hundred is one fifty, yes. Oh. So it's a damn store open. Subtract four. Fucking cat came off the weirdest fucking way. Alright, subtract four, so that give me one forty six. That still doesn't quite make much sense. Wait, there's about 146 missiles here on each side. Missiles. Oh yeah, that would make sense. That would make sense. Okay, so yeah, there's 146 missiles here on each side. <laughs> However, uh, this thing does have a little bit of uh, tendency to basically... Uh, with the speed that it's going, because as you guys see, it's going 40 meters a second. Uh, some of the missiles, when they get launched, uh, they basically explode in the gantry, so... I'm probably going to have to increase the speed of the missile slightly, which is going to lower their range a little bit. But this is designed to basically be at the same distance as what the, um... Hellfires, uh, the Hellfire Cruisers are. So that shouldn't make much of a difference. And you guys might be wondering... Is this... My, is this a completely... Well, this is a completely new design, but you guys might be asking... Like... Where did this design come from? Well... Funnily enough, I actually... When I was first building this... This is actually a design that I thought up in the first place. It was a little bit different, but I actually thought of this design of basically having the uh, the main fuselage in the middle and having let's see now how the hell I can do this, but essentially having like th six pods on each side, so two on top, two on bottom, and two on the other, uh, two on the outer sides. And this, uh, and the design that was originally before the whole pyramid, or the whole diamond design. This is basically a hybrid of the two, and I honestly cannot complain with the design. Oh yeah, and you guys have been wondering, how long can this thing keep, how long is a single volley for this? What you guys see here... It got 69,400 ammo into this, and for anyone wondering, no, it does not have any ammo processors. Or ammo makers. It does not have any of those. And, basically, for this... For this to basically run through ammo, where it has to basically reload, I think is a minimal of like two to three minutes. So yeah, the, so yeah, this thing is fixing to break something, which is actually what I want it to do. Did I miss a block? I miss the block. But yeah, for anyone wondering... Is this put up on the workshop? I have one... I have one response... To that question. Do you guys... Do you guys want to go and download this? Look up its name. 
Yes, I, this is officially been put up on the Steam Workshop. I actually had it t uh, put up shortly after it was finished. Uh, as you guys see, there's a little bit of touch up work I still need to do. And the. Basically, once I have all the blocks put into the proper place, once I have the missiles tweaked, uh, we'll have a new version of it. Basically, the full on, actually, completed version. Uh, put up onto the workshop But There's not for showing off that behemoth and believe me, it's it's a behemoth that thing is gigantic Oh, yeah, and um For anyone wondering I mentioned a build or I showed off a build called the uh Oh my god, what the hell is it called? The Gatler Hailstorm, I believe it's called. The aircraft with the five uh, miniguns stuck onto it. I will be working on that. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's see. I shush. Okay, so apparently, judging from this. There's still 12% of deep water guards that remain. So that's what we're going to go and check out today. I got a feeling... They're right over here. I want a satellite over there. Sandbanks. Why the hell did that just say sandbanks? Ow! There's the resource zone eh? Duh! Oh wow. my god, yes! <laughs> Duh! Wow. Wow. It's come to think of it, this uh -huh. area isn't fully uncovered yet, so that's probably where the last... ...of the oh deep water guard wow. resides. Oh wow. And let me see... Can you tell I'm bored? Wow. Hmm. Cow now, brown cow. Wow. I'm bored, my stomach hurts because I drink that soda too fast. Hmm. Also, I totally have that set. I'm looking at bionic bionicles. Now, you guys have been wondering... That looks like shit. You guys have been wondering, who are we going to take on next? It's like they're like, yeah, just throw a bunch of parts together and call it a promotional set. Well, the next... I uh, basically... Incremental choice uh, for a difficulty uh, increment. It will be the deep water guard. No, not the deep water guard. The Onyx Watch. But as you guys seen, we're currently best friends with the Onyx Watch. Uh, with, yeah, with the Onyx I swear, Watch. The ice guys always look the coolest. Ever since my uncle started, the ice ones have always been the coolest looking. No pun intended. And we're f currently friendly with the white flares. Hmm. This is a bit of a tough decision, I will be honest. Because, uh, well, the choice is we could either go after our friends, which, uh, which, in the, which, won't ex which wouldn't exactly be my first choice. <sighs> Or go after a target that could potentially work as a new one. Yeah, a new one. Hmm. Yeah, I go full rhino on her ass. Hmm. Uh, I mean, what value packs are there? 
I believe there's a Onyx Watch Square bot to repeat here over to the left. Oh, I have that book. I have that book. Yeah, there's the Onyx, Onyx Watch. Ow, I just bit my tongue. Ow. Oh, and you guys have been wondering, will you guys see, be seeing the Sky Halo Fortress in the future? Once we oh, have enough, re hey. once we have enough resources and enough resource upkeep, yes, you will see that badass behemoth show its true m metal. Metal. And what it's fully capable of, I ain't got a clue. This guy's fucking. Yeah, that was the weirdest gimmick. Wait, the what? Weird spinner Bionicle had. That's on its watch. What the hell? Hmm. Wait, how many people don't like the Onyx watch? Uh. No, the weirdest was the squid launchers. That was the weirdest gimmick. Okay, why flares on X watch is suspicious. Twin Guard hates the Onyx watch. One weird trick to get rid of pirates or whatever. I'm sorry, that read like a fucking BuzzFeed article, the way you said that. Uh, Onyx watch and uh, Lightning Hoods is friendly. Steel Stratus on X watch is suspicious. And Grey Talons on Onyx watch is suspicious. And well, it's safe to say, as as a clearly see it says here on the bottom, Scarlet Dawn hates everybody. So, hmm. Oh, uh, so they're like no. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Random bunch of parts. Call it, call it a fucking call it a fucking promo set. I love it. Oh, that's not good. He's and Lego company gets lazy. Hmm. Twin Guard and White Flyers, they're at war with each other. But the Lightning Hoods and the White Flyers, they're allied. So that means if we were to go after the White Flyers, the Lightning Hoods will actually start to hate us. And they're overly suspicious of us as it is. Yeah. So guaranteed we'll be go going to war with them as well. And yeah, Steel Striders. Asshole, Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm sorry, Bionicle War. Yeah, these guys were so cool. Oh, I gotta build a bunch of sets out of these guys. A bunch of different cool shit. Wait, which ones did I have? Because I had him. Oh, I had her too. Okay, okay. That's the ones I had. Good. Wonder. So if the Onyx watch is up here, then what's down here? Listening. Listening. Wait, a minute, give me a second here, guys. Okay. I just reloaded the save because literally nothing happened, and we're actually already back over here. So, if we head down here below where the sandbanks are, we might come across another Onyx Watch target. Not Onyx Watch. Why do I keep saying Onyx Watch? I keep on, I keep on mixing up the uh, Onyx Watch and the uh, 
Deep Park got it's starting to Moving annoy up. me now, le le legitimately. Okay, I want. Moving I just up. want you guys to come down here. So I want to see. Hmm. However, that resource zone that was that just disappeared that's uh, currently owned by the uh, White Flyers. That one's going to be quite interesting to capture because that one I will actually be able to put in the um, um, the space station. You guys have been wondering, will I be putting that in the play? Yes. Once again, as soon as I have enough resources and enough resource upkeep. I'm trying to think of it. Let me warp in on you. And let me spawn in... Oh god, why is it laggy here? Fine, I'll spawn you in. She's gonna be an idiot about it. Okay. Oh, come on, game. Can you stop breaking? I just hurt myself. Okay, there we go. I get it. You got a lot of guns. Leave me alone. Okay, um... Hmm. You know, it would actually be quite fitting for me to put a, uh... Put in a, um... Hey, um, a blueprint spotter in here. Wait, does this already have them? Because it was spawning in craft during the fight before we captured it. I swear it does. Question is, what the hell could they be? Hmm. Dude, I remember that clip. That clip was everywhere. When Justice when Justin Bieber played a bad guy on CSI and then he dies in the end, gets shot like fifty fucking times. People fucking love that clip. It was all over the place. That's a meme. Yeah, I saw that that clip made the rounds a big time. Okay, uh, satellite, come here. Man, I'm on. Know your meme in Doki Doki is still one of the top ones here. Not surprised. There we go. So <sighs> we're going up into the air already. Wow. Up. You guys have been wondering, do I like the satellite? Yes, because, well, it's very small, it's very cheap, and it just gets the job done. And it's a great way to stay in shape. But I would honestly like to eventually um, spawn in the uh, the uh, space station because I'm generally curious on just how big of that craft can actually light up the map where that is like, legitimately in space. So.
Because this little scrappy thing was actually supposed to be in space, but... It, ke it kept on getting stopped by the natural world limit. Or the natural, the natural oxygen and air limit. Okay, you should be good now. Well, I'm an idiot. Yes, I am. Okay, uh, satellite, let me spawn you back in. Uh, and let's get to our other craft, and let's see just what the hell this lights up. Listening. Can I both of you guys, please? Listening. Thank you. And here's the last deep water guard square. Moving out. So you're right behind a guard for a second thing. Whoa, there's actually two squares here. There's a 35 and a 56. Well. They got, uh, might split up the groups. And have the Gatlers go after the 35 square. And have the cruisers go up against the 56 square. I don't know yet though. I don't want the sandbanks. Okay, good. Oh, actually, just give him the satellite. <laughs> that's gonna come in handy once you get in range. 21 meters a second, that's not bad. And the... Hellfire... Or the Gatler Cruiser. Oh, the Gatler is going 21, and the, Hellf uh, the Hellfire is going 20, okay. So let me split up. Okay, so you're the cruiser fleet, so you guys over that way. So 35, and there's a 56 just up here. Moving out. You guys have been wondering, will I be adding a basically a saboteur-like craft to the Gatler fleet? Yes, I just haven't decided on one yet. When is even a 47? Okay, you know what? You guys head down here. Oh, wow. There's actually a few squares here left, uh, belonging left to the, uh, to the, uh, deep water guard. So you know what? You guys go together and let's clean these, uh, let's clean these idiots up. Okay, what's left of them? What the hell is this? Lighting hood, strength 200? Oh god. That's why I'm not going over there yet. Good lord. And the thing is, they got lasers. Rather powerful lasers, and we don't have any, uh, any um, type of munition defense of these things. Yeah. These kind of crafts, that's where the Steady Blast fleet uh, will come in. Yeah, that's with the, um... Village of Ice Watch. Oh, it's an outpost. Small habitation module, medium habitation module, barracks, barracks. Medium has habitation module, two light turrets, skyscraper. Medium habitation module, and a small habitation module, okay. Hi. <laughs> Man, the range of these satellites is ridiculous. Now, the, now, this spot down here below this satellite should be cleared out. Anyway, let's pull out. So, down to this 47, and let's go and take on there, and then we'll go and take on this 35. I was afraid of this! Wait a minute, um... Gatlers? Gatlers can Moving out. Go to that uh, 35. T 
20th Paolo Pathos Fleet and the 8th, 8th, 8th Pirate Lord Rikes Fleet. Okay, so let's go for the... The 20th... The 20th Pirate Lord Pathos Fleet and it can... with the... Uh, cruiser fleet and it has a ransack and a pilferer. It's a good thing we're going in with the cruiser fleet because I hate the pilferer. And we'll check to see what the Gatler fleet has come as face off against with the 35 fleet. Spice. Spice. <laughs> I'm bored, don't judge me. Oh god, so this is literally going to be going on. Uh, this is literally going. Uh, two fights is going to be going on at one time here. Oh my god. Okay, so here's the Hailfire. Um, Mr. Cruiser, get over here. Mr. Cruiser, over here. Mr. Cruiser. Mr. Cruiser. Get over here, you number five. And what else do you at there, little saboteur? You are currently 31. I'll leave you there. So yeah, trying to switch between these two fights is going to be a nightmare. Okay. So there's the Hellfire Gettler. I'm at foot. Cruiser. Cruiser. Uh, cruiser and cruiser. Okay. Basically, once the um, okay, let's see what the eighth part Lord Rake's fleet has. It has a. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna check this by hand. Uh, flying squirrel. It has a red tuna and a coffin. A coffin. Shit! A freaking coffin ale, are you serious? Okay, let's begin. So we don't want to get enough. a coffin. I'm not trying to be a dick, I'm just bored and I'm trying to entertain myself because I have like nothing to do right now. Whoa! There's only two fights being loaded in right now, so everything is laggy as all hell. Oh wow, this is slow. Yeah, the greater mode is going to be greatly required. Stop it, map! Okay, so we got the... Okay, there's the Gatlers over there. We got the cruisers over here. Uh, watch yourself, Hellfire, for the love of God. Okay, let's see what the Gatlers are up to. Oh my god. This is honestly a first. Well, I can just switch between crafts. What the hell am I doing? Okay. Okay, so the uh, cruisers are setting off the first volley of shots, and let's go check the uh, gatlers. You guys keep firing, please. Thank you. Oh god, someone got hit over here. Did someone get hit? Yeah. I'm making weird noises. Yeah, the uh, Hellfire Cruiser got, uh, Gatler got hit. Okay, so what's the situation for you idiots? Uh, oh, yeah. Half a nail. Whoa, you're at 64! Ratuna's undamaged. Okay, fuck it. Oh, wow. I gotta see this. There's the red tuna. Oh my god, look at all the missiles down the back! That's amazing! That's beautiful. Oh wow. Yeah, you don't like wow. you don't like headshots very much, do you? Wow. Wow. I'm sorry, best friend got me doing that, and then I saw it in a noble video too, so I'm just kind of stuck on that now. 
Yeah, this thing. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Maybe that's a new meme going around or something. This thing. Oh. This is not gonna last for very much. Oh, for much longer, and that makes me happy. Wait. <laughs> and flung scores on damage. Kind of figured that. Okay, let's head back over to the uh, cruiser fleet. Whoa! My God. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. And we're getting hit by missiles from the Poofor, I presume. Wait, which one's the Poofor? Oh, Poofor, get your just desserts, and there's a ransack. If you guys remember the pilfer from there from our previous episode? That thing just completely wrecked us. So I'm glad that thing is getting its just deserves because believe me, it deserves it. Got your just desserts, you jerk. I don't like this boat. Oh, I like the bows, but it's a bit of a jerk. So it's a bit of a love hate relationship with it. What's too damaged? What's too damaged? It's the Gatler side. What's too damaged? Cough nails too damaged. Booyah! Fortuna's 81 and the flying scroll's getting away. Kill the friggin' scroll, you idiots! Glory. And Quizzle Fleet seem to be doing just fine. Perfect. Whoa, my god. Thanks for hitting my bottom, you jerk. Oh, you just hit my stomach, you jerkass. And there's the poor little saboteur. Dodging shots like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> like the small size and just like the fast maneuverability I think got. Oh my god. Are you seriously trying to hit the Gatner fleet? How freaking dim witted are you? Thank you, Hellfire. Good lord. Kill this thing for me, please. Oh god, watch it how far you're gonna get hit in the stomach again. No, you're gonna hit, get hit in the ass. Wait, did you stop moving? Did you stop moving? No, you didn't. Why was I tethered to you? I should not have been tethered. Bizarre. Okay, let's check the situation here. Uh, Poop 4 is at 90 and Ransex at 91. Let's go have another quick look over in the Gatlers and see how they're doing. Okay, so there's a couple of Gatlers here in the water. But they seem to be fine. Red Tuna is at 73 and the Flying Squirrel is undamaged. Okay. Where's the Flying Squirrel anyway? Oh, there it is. You just got hit in the stomach. You guys get back up in the air. I, I just see just, just rains. It just, just absolutely just a hailstorm of missiles just coming from it. Come from the uh, cruiser, it's ridiculous. I love it. Wait, the uh, hell is exploding in the water? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? These are these are freaking hellfire cruiser missiles. How in the hell did they end up all the way over here? <laughs> Under the long range, but come on. What? A what? <laughs> I am so confused right now. Okay, let's head back over to cruisers and see how they're doing. L for it. What the hell, man? Keep it. Uh, keep your target locked on these idiots. Look. 
I got a simple target for you. Ah shit, did not mean to do that. Oh my god, look at the barrage of bullets. That is ridiculous. Pilfer is 87, Ransack's 83, Pilfer is a jerk face, kill that thing. Leave, leave the other fleet alone, like, the, uh, your, your brothers can handle it. Gallo fleets actually do really well, <laughs> I will be honest. Okay. Wait. Where's the... Engaging now. Now. Don't leave the fight yet, you Nimrods. The Red Tuna's not dead. I know you want to help your brothers up, but come on. This is literally going over here. What? <laughs> oh, for the love of God. <sighs> for God's sake. Yes, get back into the fight, you dumbass. Lord. This is honestly hilarious. Look, there's a freaking the Hellfire Gatlin over there. Dude, what are you doing? There's the rest huh? of there's the rest of the oh, Gatlin. I thought you were talking about me. Some plane of thing to kill time. There's a rest of the Gatler fleet over there. Looks like there's a, a boat over there in the water. That might be... That's oh. usually where boats are. They like being in the water. It's their home. Oi. Looks like... Wait, that looks like a balloon, is that... Is that a Hellfire Cruiser there in the... No, it's just getting up out of the water, okay. Oh, nice! Oh, please hit, please hit. Oh, is that you, Pilfer? Yes, it is. See, ransacks are not really that much of a problem. It's this jerk face that, uh, that actually killed the uh, Hillfire Cruiser before. Which is why I'm having this, this jackass targeted. And once you miss the system, it's been destroyed. Hang on, let me see. What's your stadium missile system? Looks like your missile system is completely gone. Not complaining. Not complaining. <coughs> I said back over to get my fleet. And what's too damaged? Man, you burnt more than me and I'm drinking soda. Red tuna is too damaged. Sweet. It's too not damaged. I tried. Not very hard, but I tried. But in the end, it didn't even matter. Crawling in my crawl. Engaging now. He's crawling on my crawl. What? Uh, uh, Lincoln Park names. No. Oh. Kill this freaking squirrel! I got him. I imagine that score is just like basically just be. It's just going to. It's just going to die. I'm trying to think of like. Squirrels are usually just being fluffy and cute. They didn't harm nobody. Well, this flying. Whoa! This squirrel is packed with missiles and try and trying to. Damage, damage our aircraft. Before is at 74, and what is the year ransack? 76. Okay. 
The hell? Oh, it's you! Wait. Is this one in slow motion? Wait. Is this squirrel dead? Wait. No, but I said 70% and it's currently dropping at altitude like bad. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, oh god. Wait, you're 132 and you're one. Oh god. Don't crash! Ooh, scores they are dead. Okay, you guys can actually head over here and help deal with this issue. Here. Get the ransack. While I while the um while your cruiser brothers deal with the poofer. That's awesome. And stop with that friggin' high pitched noise. I hate that. Who, me? I ain't doing a high-pitched noise. I'm doing other noises, but not a high-pitched one. I don't mean you, I mean the game! I could do a high-pitched noise, but there's other people here, so, yeah. Like I said, I don't mean you, I mean the game. Oh, sweet! Honestly, I'd probably just do a read. That's probably all I'd do. Thank you, Gatler Cruiser! I love these I two, uh, these two fleets, they're just awesome. Oh, there's, there's one group, uh, dead. Now there's just one target left. Well, two targets, I should say. And where's the Gatlers? Gatlers are heading over in this direction towards the ransack. Sweet! Okay, I actually do want all of the cruisers. Where's all the cruisers? Did I get all the cruisers? Yes, I did. Go for the pill for it. The ransack is going to be left up to the Gatlers. Speaking of the Gatlers, where are they? Wait a minute, there's the ransack there. No, there's the pill for. Oh, is that them? That must be them because the uh, cruiser fleet's over here. Well, why does that look like a missile? Yeah, there's the Gatler fleet over here. Seriously, why does that look like a missile? That's because that's a Hellfire missile. Dude! I gave you clear orders to attack the Pilfer, not the Ransack. Leave the Ransack alone. Um... Why are you beached? Oh. Why are you beached? You're upside down. Hang on, buddy. Get you back up in the air in a second. Continue as a verse. And the thing is, it's above 20 meters, so they balloon the, oh, the balloon the player doesn't work. Come on. Get up. Get up. I'm going to have to set you at a 4 all night. Come on. Get up back up to the air, you nimrod. Ah, uh, fine. Okay. Now, who is it? Okay, now it should be able to fix itself. And no, it's dive straight back into the water. You dumbass. Ah, this is not what I want you to do. You want continuous reverse. I'm gonna crank you up to ten, and I'm gonna let you sit yourself back down so you can actually get back up in here, probably. Oy. Okay. How was that? 
Oh, something so damaged over there, and I'm having to deal with this moron. <laughs> Whoa, what just exploded? Okay, looks like I got a cruiser. Oh, no, that would be the Vansack. Sweet. Okay, now you... Get back up into the air and join your brothers. And please don't do anything stupid. I can't promise that. I don't mean you. You just smacked right into the side of the bank. Good job, you dumbass. Duh. I tell you not to do anything stupid. And the first thing you do is smack straight into the side of a freaking sandbank. Wah, wah, wah. Uh. Dude, what in the hell are you doing? Get up in the air! Wah, 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 wah. Up in the air. Up in here? Up in here. Yeah, you're set back Excellent to a continuous, so get yourself back up in the air. That's gonna do it to you, though. Okay, good. Your balloon deployer should be to help you out. Good, it's going back up. It's going back up. Okay. Okay, these things are a little bit finicky. So I'm trying to deal with freaking toddlers here. Good lord. Hello, friend of hell. Oh, hi, Hellfire Gatler. <laughs> I thought you were Gatler Cruiser there for a second. Now, don't don't hit your brothers to the cruisers, you idiot. And what is actually the state of the April 1st? April 1st is 63. And for anyone wondering, Yes, uh, just like the uh, Hellfire Cruiser, the Sky Halo Fortress engine is set at 50%. So, whoa, my god. So we could literally have double the amount of engine power that we currently have. So if there's anything we, we want to add to it later, we can. Yeah, let's see how much like head shells, you jerk. Oh, just a Hellfire that huh? Where's your other Gatler twins, buddy? Honestly, it's just cruisers and a bunch of Gatlers. Uh, one single Gatler. What the hell? Where the hell is everybody? Oh. They're up over here. They were by us, apparently. What the hell? Well, that does make sense where the headshots are coming from, but... Wait, there's the Hellfire. Gatler. Oh! There they are. And this one sees a lot of water for some reason. Like, why? Dude, what the hell is wrong with you? Can you stop? Fli can you stop this? Get up in here. Just get up in here and stay there. I don't think this one has, um, recoil suppressors. No, it doesn't. Don't. So, when this fight's over, I'm actually going to, um... Oh, and the perverse do damaged. Sweet. So, once this fight's over, I'm actually going to, um... Swap out that Gatler Cruiser and, uh... Give it the, uh, newest version. I thought I did them all. Apparently I didn't. Good Wednesday, you jerk. Hi, Gatlers. <laughs> it's kind of interesting see the get, seeing the uh, Gatlers and the crews work together like this. Uh oh. Are we going to have a collision? Nice move, Gatler Cruiser. Wow. You literally just ducked out of the way for your brother. And there's the little tiny, um,. This avatar, which I still mistake it for a flying squirrel. Okay, you are, uh... In this version... Wait, 31.
That does not make any Jeez. sense. Oh, so yes. This is the one that was out my foot. This was the one that was um, missing its uh, recoil suppressors. That was sweet. Two fights going on at the one time where two of the fleets. Good God, that was that was actually pretty awesome. So group up, guys. Set up here. So that's actually going to have to do for this time, guys. I'm actually quite satisfied with all of that, if I would be honest. Wow. So, um, I don't mean you, you idiot. Get back. Moving out. Stay with the Davy Jones locker, you dumbass. Wait. Alright, so that's actually going to do it for this time, guys. Next time we're going to be, um... Uh... Cleaning up where it appears to be the last two squares of the Deepwater Guard. Yeah, there's just two squares left of the Deepwater Guard. And so next time they're going to be completely gone. So guys, raise the like button from the depths if you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you in the next one. Later, guys. And to be blatantly honest, to see the deep water guard completely wiped off the map, it's honestly making me a little bit happy. But seeing the two fleets going after two different opposing fleets at the same time is nothing short but friggin' awesome.